Hello viewer, I'm CCD and welcome to my channel. I'm still new to producing videos on YouTube and don't have a specific topic I like to focus on just yet. So I'm likely to jump between subject matters from video to video. Today I will be explaining how to read Rimpel and Retard or Brick performance curves. Before we read a Rimpel or Retard curve, we need to understand grade, rolling resistance and effective grade. Grade is the slope of the portion of the row being assessed. This is written as a percentage. Rolling resistance is the force that resists rolling. This value is a percentage and is best when calculated for your specific site. Effective grade is the combination of grade and rolling resistance. If we were in a truck travelling uphill, then the grade and rolling resistance are both working against the truck. Thus, the effective grade is the sum of the grade and the rolling resistance. If, on the other hand, we were in the same truck travelling downhill, then the grade is causing us to speed up, but the rolling resistance is opposing that movement, slowing us down. In that case, the effective grade is the grade minus the rolling resistance. What are Rimpel curves? Rimpel curves are fleet specific. They are used to calculate the maximum speed and gear for a specific piece of equipment on a specific portion of road traveling uphill. Let's do an example together. A loaded 785C truck travels uphill on a road with a gradient of 8%. The site rolling resistance is 2%. This Rimpel curve here is from Caterpillar's performance handbook and is specific to truck 785Cs, which is our truck model. We are traveling uphill, so we can calculate that the effective grade is 10, which is 8 plus 2. And we can see it here. And we know that our truck is loaded. So from the loaded line, we follow it down until we hit the 10% effective grade line. From there, we travel across horizontally until we hit the rimple curve. Now that's landed on second gear. Second gear. And when we drop that down, that gives us approximately 13 or 14, we'll say 14, 14 kilometers per hour. How do we calculate the gear and maximum speed if we are traveling downhill instead? For downhill travels, we utilize the retard or brake curve. Like before, we take this retard curve from the manufacturer's handbook. We're traveling downhill, so we can calculate that the effective grade is 8 minus 2, which equals 6%. So here is 6%. And again, we are loaded. So we draw the line down to the 6% mark. Go across until we hit the retard curve. That gives us fourth gear and drop that down and we get about 32 kilometers per hour and that is how to read and apply rimple and retard curves thanks for watching if you found this video interesting or helpful please hit the like button or let me know in the comments below until next time